calm, calm. Yep, they they just put he's just pushing the 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 effeminate vibe like like crazy, man. Hey, you like but that that's movie? The Lord Remember that movie? That clip that I posted in the chat. That <laughs> <Like>, guy, <laughs> you really gonna do that shit in front of me? Yeah, yeah. You can't be in my bed and in your feelings. Yeah, and then he go put his head down. Like, hey, what the hell is wrong with this? <laughs> and it's it's sad that you got you actually got Jake like that. Remember the one we got into it with? Well, who that? The Barracuda. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, her husband, I went up and approached him respectfully. Look, I got into it with your wife. You know, we need to uh, coexist together. I'm just showing you respect. And he was like, ah, oh, man, you, I, I ain't got nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. See, started running him out. I said, can you talk to your wife? Nah, nah, I ain't, I ain't got nothing to do with it. He put his head down and shit for his woman. And this nigga driving a convertible Audi. Like he tough. Look at his diaper. That's why the women are upset, man. Cause they ain't got nobody to please. This is, look at that dyke right there, man. That's crazy. He probably got neutered. That man probably got neutered. He just spayed. He just spayed. He just spayed it, right? For men. Yeah. He probably got spayed it. It's a lot of men doing that shit, man. Yeah. These women walking around like no, no, nothing, man. Yeah. Uh, if you if you a man, what they call it? Uh, is it a vasectomy? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you if you get into vasectomy, man, yeah. Excuse my language. It's not. No, no, you you good. You in the spirit? You ain't supposed to be doing that, man. <laughs> you know? Because a, a man is supposed to have a lot of children. You know now, uh, you know in this this society, man. Mom, yeah. No, I'm always, just saying you it's always an that. example that walk by here. Every time, every time we talk about something, it's always an example that walk by here. You know, you know? the uh, the uh, birth control for men. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that yeah, shit yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. If you take taking birth control, man, male birth control, you a simp, bitch. And we ain't saying to go around popping every type of woman, you know. You ain't even want to be doing that, man, because these women ain't in their right mind anyway. That's why you ain't moving wisely, you know? Those we talk about the woman, they get so super offensive. Yeah. We talk about niggas, they just keep their head down and keep walking. You start talking about women, what? Yeah. Yeah. Not us. And, and if it didn't apply to you, why are you so angry? But you that's know? that queen of heaven being brought up under that Cinderella bullshit when they little. Don't talk about women. Don't talk about where these women ain't in their right mind, man. And to be quite honest, it's a lot of women starting to, starting to, uh, you know. Yeah, some of them starting to see. Some of them starting to see it. They're like, what the hell is this? Like when these movies come out, a more when more and more these effeminate movies come out, every time I look over the comment, you know, the, you know, the comment section, there'd be a lot of women on there saying like, what the hell is this? Hey, I, you, you might start might have to start doing that for the woman too. Males, what was that? females. Yeah, yeah, females. Yeah, cause they not they females. not women either. Females. They don't behave as women. And 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 like I said, a lot of these females are starting to come out of that and starting to realize, oh, this ain't being a lady. What the hell is this? This ain't this ain't my role as a as a you know. And you wouldn't have to complain about hard work if you just let a man do a, do a man's job. Absolutely. You know. Hey, that's good, good to point. say. Uh, a yeah. man supposed to take take care of his household. You know, that's what a man <laughs> supposed to do. I can't take these movies seriously when they when they have a, a woman in charge. I can't take it seriously. You know, I just t I tend to laugh at it. And I just click off it like I can't get mad at it no more. I just laugh at it now. Oh, I need to watch that shit. It is. I I laugh at it and I click it off because it's like <laughs> I can't well, take this uh, seriously. Sometimes you watch it just to get the spiritual part. I if can't. I, I mean, I can't even do it. If it, uh, sometimes I, you know, in the, in, the, in the past, good. in the past, I did if it was real good. But now, I still, I look back at the movies that I used to watch when it came to that stuff like that, and it's like more and more of this stuff keep coming out. I just click off it. I like, nah, forget it. I got scripture, uh, First Timothy five and eight. But if any provide not for his own, out here. and especially. But those of his own house, he has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. But yep. with that as a balance, too. Because women are supposed to provide, too. Yeah. Right. 
women are supposed to help out as well. Yep. In ancient time, women were property. So they helped with certain things like in the, the, the sewing and all that, yep. or, the, or the, the field. Yeah. They, the, so the woman wasn't just wanted to sit on her ass. Right. Right. That's what the word woman means to be a help. To be a help. Service. So it's when you dig a... up, when you dig, take the shovel and dig that hole, the plant, she's supposed to be on her knees taking the seed, planting this shit, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, everybody always think that we talk, you know, when we talk about women, we always, everybody always think that, oh, so what, we, we didn't have no part of nothing? No. Of course, I mean, of course you did. I mean, hell, you need, the Lord created. You to be a, a incubator for the for the for the for the you know, you give you give birth. That's one of, that's one of the greatest gifts that that anybody really has right now, man. You know, which, and yet you want to you want right. to take that away. Which means that if you're one flesh, you're you're producing your part. You're exactly your part. Yeah, exactly. You know, there's nothing wrong with women helping out. You know? Yeah, I got this scripture Isaiah three and twelve. Just can't even want. It says, "As for my people." Children are their oppressors, which that's talking about Esau, right? It says, a woman rule over them. Oh, my people, they which lead you, cause you to err. And destroy the way of your path. Yep. So you on a path of destruction, man. Yep. You allowing a woman to rule over you, you know? That's why we come out here, we really out here for the men, you know? And if you're a woman, you get with one of the men. You know, you learn from a man, or if you have a man at home, you know, you bring him up here so we can teach him. Yeah, stop trying. That's order. Yeah, stop trying to be, stop trying to be the, the 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 top speaker woman, a preacher woman. And then you know what you know what everybody always say. What about what about Esther? What about Esther? Esther knew a place first of all. You know, she she she. The only she did, one that really was was it was it Judah was the only one that was really. I would say more 100 percent righteous. If I'm not mistaken, when her husband died, yeah. she, she didn't, didn't remarry. Yeah. Right. When women back then knew knew a place, so what, what do you, you can't you can't bring up none of the women old. You know they knew their place. They went out. They would they you what you think they was out there doing men's jobs? They knew what the hell they would they knew what the hell to do. At, at once upon a time. Yeah. Because you had a lot of our women was going off then. Too. Yeah, back then. Yeah, definitely. But especially in, in Babylon, man. Yeah. And you know who was following him? Jay. Yep. As, as they doing queen. it, as they doing it, day. The queen of heaven, the woman was always the progenitor of sin. So when she went out and she started baking cakes to the queen of heaven, that goes back you to, you to got that the civil rabbits in Nimrod. Right. Bring that out. She, the, the woman, is really responsible for pushing that Christmas ideology. You know. And they still push. They today. still do. The mothers are the most responsible for doing yeah. it yeah. with yeah. the yeah. children. Nothing Give you the little car. You say, yeah, Christmas coming. You got the little light up car and all that shit. Yeah, they be the first one to say, go get the decor get the decorations. Get the decorations. Yep. You know, them women be so wicked with that them pagan holidays. Oh, they put a fucking tree up that and don't even celebrate Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, just to right say there. they in the spirit of Christmas. Yep. Yep. What is the spirit of Christmas? Yep. Yep. Hey, the Grinch was in the spirit. He was in the spirit. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, the they, Grinch. They, they thought that Grinch who stole Christmas. He was in the spirit. Yeah. yeah. But then they ended up with him. Uh, oh, wind up liking it. Yeah, yeah liking it. Yeah. yeah. That represented Jake, man. Yeah, be, represent, power, yeah. Yup. And then having it taken, man. Yup. Being, being brought feeble. Yup. And now we, now we is one. Sitting on top of that mountain. Yup. And then fall on down. Yup. When he had them gifts, he was on top. Yup. And then he had a heart. And his heart grew. And then he tried to back the the toys back up to the children. Uh, that's Jake. Yeah, but they made him look all green and ugly and shit, man. Right. That was talking about us, man. Uh, Lazarus describes us. The Jew, the rat, they know. They use the Grinch to describe us, man. We hated that shit, the, the righteous men. And then he said, you know what? I'm going to make y'all, the most high said, I'm going to make you follow that holiday, man. Yep. Because if I, I'm, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, they said that those like hanging ornaments was like niggas hanging from trees or something yeah, like yeah. that. Hanging heads. Even go back before that. Man, yeah. Those 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 um those bulbs and shit uh -huh. represented. If if, if 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 she said if she told everybody to cut a tree and put it in their house and deck it, and if you didn't do it, off with your head. And she had a big tree out in a, in an open. Dr. Grinch was stole Christmas when they was circling around it. 
that big tree represented uh, the queen of heaven. And whoever didn't do it, they would come out and see the uh, the uh, the heads hanging on the tree. Right. So that whole Christmas thing was all uh, ba Babylonian, Assyrian Babylonian. And you can look it up. What'd you say? What'd you say? Hey, yeah, you can you can look it up too. You know, it's it's all there. You know, y'all celebrate Christmas? No, I'm, I'm Muslim. Oh, okay. 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 You're Muslim. What is that? Uh, Kwanzaa? Did they celebrate that? Yeah, we celebrate no. Eid. No. I don't know what deal with them. <laughs> no, they don't celebrate. They don't uh, I got you out. I got you out. Yeah, we don't celebrate Christmas Eve. Yeah, we don't. Why not? It's Babylonian pagan. worship, man. It's pagan, just like Islam. Pagan, you know? Babylonian, Assyrian. Yep. It's a wicked holiday. Y'all yep. should know the story on Christmas. Yeah, I do know where it comes from. Can you tell us where it comes from? I mean, I know there's different experiences. Right, different variations yeah. of it. Christmas how long? Yes, sir. Ask him about the name. <laughs> hey, do you, do you know uh, the origins of Islam? Yes, sir. Like where it come from? Yes, sir. Uh, where did it come from? Uh, to get your son, I mean, as Muslims, we believe all the prophets are Muslims. What about what about uh, 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 Jesus? We believe he's a Muslim. Yeah, he's Was Muslim. he the last prophet? No. no. Well, where, why? Because after, even in the Bible it says. Uh, what does prophet mean? Prophet means uh, like it's a messenger of God. The messenger. You know, in your book, yes, sir. It says that yeah. we have the truth. In your book, it says yeah. the children of Israel has the truth. Quoted. Alright, I got you. Read the word prophet. The word the prophet, cow. The word, the word prophet means to say something before it happens. Okay. Prophecy. Yeah, it means say, to say something before it happens. So, when you um, when you look at you said uh, Jesus, right? I'm gonna get this. Matthew 24 and 6, and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. It says, for nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences with the diseases. It says, and earthquakes in diverse places. That's the whole thing I want to, that's what I want to call all these are the beginning of sorrows. It says, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, mm -hmm. and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Yep. Now, y'all say the uh, nation of uh, Islam, right? So, we the, for us bringing out the truth of the, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, right? It says that we're going to be hated of all nations for his name's sake, you know, for bringing out the truth that he was, he was, he wasn't the last prophet, right? Uh, was it Muhammad? He wasn't a prophet at all. Yeah, that's a weird prophecies. What prophecies? Yeah, what prophecies did Muhammad uh, say? Gotta <laughs> list one. Let me you gotta say it one. Let me ask you a question real quick. Let me ask you a question real quick. I'll give you one. When you take a shahada, yes. you gotta believe that Prophet Muhammad was the last prophet, right? Yes, sir. So, the Prophet Muhammad was the last prophet. I know, no. Why we out here prophesizing right now? You got people that still prophesizing. I mean, that's right. That's that's the prophets, but they're not they're not real prophets. It's Kyle. That's your I can claim my own prophet. My brother. Second Kyle. Do you know what the Do you know about the uh the RFID chip? The what? The RFID chip. What is that? The mark of the beast. That's meat. Which beast? That's meat. Right hey, but it. You you may you may you know think you know because it's me to anybody you know who don't understand but the thing is that when you go into it okay you got uh, the book of uh, Revelation thirteen and uh, uh, sixteen right it says and he causes all both small and great I'm I'm gonna get the fifteenth verse it says and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. It says, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. It says, and that no man might buy or sell, 
save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. 